Well, guys, I'm here at the Midnight Madness at Full Tilt Poker once again. It's a tournament I play often, but unfortunately I haven't had much fortune in yet. Nevertheless, I often play it for pure ambition of knocking out Michael Craig. Of all the times we have been in this tournament together, however, only uh, I've only been at his table a few times, maybe once or twice, and we didn't have any altercations, so that hasn't worked out either. Not only that, Michael Craig usually is out of the tournament within the first hour, sometimes even half hour, so that seriously negates any knockout opportunities. However, in this game, I did happen to be seated next to Lee Watkinson, a resident pro here at Full Tilt Poker, and he does play the Midnight Madness, not as often as Michael Craig, but um, just on occasion. And wow, this game was the first time I've actually sat at his table. Now, I wanted to go through a hand with Lee Watkinson, but first, I'm going to show you another hand, which is pretty important in this tournament. It's coming up here. I just joined the tournament uh, late. I guess I missed a hand or two. And, of course, I found Michael Craig. He's not uh, at my table, but I'm going to keep an eye on him. And I have pocket jacks. Early position. I put in a standard four times the big blind raise. Now it's folded around to the button. He calls. Wow! Look what happens. Small blind comes in for a raise. And it's not just any raise. Guys, this is a value raise. Look at that. 510. He's made the pot 780 chips. Now, not only is that bet expensive, it also seems to me that given the size and uh, that there was a call on my hand and then the small blind comes out raising, well, I'm beat here. A re-raise like that from the small blind usually means aces or kings, especially this early in the tournament. Given that type of hand and the fact that my best case scenario is probably a 50-50 here, I think this is an easy fold. If I don't fold, I'm already down a third of my stack. I think this is all that I want to lose in this hand. Let's play it through. Jacks look good on this flop, except for that small blind now shoves it all in. No matter what this guy on the button has, he pretty much has to call. And did you see that? I mean, he had already doubled up. And now he's just burning through chips for no reason. Ace-10. You know, you just got to be able to fold hands like this. There are people in tournaments who will come in in the early stages and they'll just play anything in the hopes of getting a really big stack. Those are the same types of players, though, who have trouble holding on to it, as you just saw there. Okay. Like I said, it's hands like that that give you opportunity later in the tournament, meaning you're still in the tournament, to play hands like this one, where after a table change, I came up against none other than Lee Watkinson. I am under the gun and the blinds are 120 240, and decide to put in a raise here for 720 chips, approximately, uh, or exactly, three times a big blind. It's a standard raise. It could be anything. But, you know, I've got something, and I think most people know that, especially when you're raising under the gun. 1,280, and look at this. Lee Watkinson in the big blind calls. Now, if any big blind calls here, he's got a hand. If Lee Watkinson calls here, you know he's got a hand. Especially if there's nobody else in the pot, you've got to think he's holding a pair. However, if he had aces or kings, I'm sure he's re-raising me pre-flop. So as soon as he calls, I am putting him on a medium pair, but possibly as good as queens. The flop comes 9-3-2, ragged looking flop, and my only concern here is if he has pocket nines. I don't think he calls my raise with pocket threes or twos. Still, when holding pocket kings, I cannot play on the premise that he has me beat after this flop as in he's holding pocket nines. It's just going all in, and I have to decide how to get all of his chips in the middle as well. This is why I decide to make a clear overbet to this pot. Now, this is something I rarely do. I'm going to play it here, and you'll see. I don't take too long at all. In about five seconds, I shove it all in. Now, the pot's 5130. We're both orange M zone. He has no idea who I am because I just came to this table. And this is definitely giving him pause for concern.
the thing is, Lee Watkinson doesn't know me from any other turtle online, and by shoving it in here with an overbet, uh, going all in, I am much more likely to induce a call from him because it makes me look inexperienced. When the hand started, given the way he called, he might have suspected that he might have been, you know, behind with his pocket pair. But now, because of my irrational play, he may think he has me. This is a typical overbet of someone uh, who may be shoving around with ace-king, ace-queen, jack-jack, ten-ten, or even a low pair like sixes, sevens, or eights, because that flop is pretty good for a hand like that. One thing he knows for sure is that I do not have nines. But now he's no longer sure he is beat either. I've raised more doubt in him as to making him more confident about his jacks. By giving him something else to ponder based on my large overbet here, I really think he convinces himself that I'm shoving in with ace-king here. And given our relatively equal size stack situations in the tournament, mathematically, he needs to call here based on what I've done. If I don't make this move, I think that Lee Watkinson is capable of folding this hand because he does have 3,200 chips. I mean, that's not great, uh, but it's good enough to stay in the tournament and wait for a better spot. Now, as you can see, I'm going to start it again. He definitely took a long time to call here. I guess he eventually reasoned that I was just another internet nincompoop and calls with pocket jacks. And there you go. I got my first pro bust-out bounty. My first one ever at Full Tilt Poker. And, hey, you know what you get when you bust out a pro at Full Tilt Poker? Not only do you get your buy-in, but you get a free t-shirt. It's a special t-shirt, too. Hope you enjoyed seeing Lee Watkinson at Full Tilt Poker. Definitely a good player. He definitely made the right move there, but I made sure he made the right move. This is Marty Smith for the MZoneReport.com, and I will see you in the Midnight Madness. Take care. Ciao.